stones. I went for a walk today and, and was looking at stones. And um, I love all the different sizes they can be. You know, some are different colors. Some are roundish. This one's even sort of triangular shaped, um, flat, round, all, all different sizes. Sort of like people. Everybody's different sizes and different shapes. I have a story I want to read to you today. It's called Scribble Stones. And uh, hang around afterwards because we have a special guest and a project for you to do. So I hope you enjoy Scribble Stones. Scribble Stones, written and illustrated by Diane Alber. This story is about one happy stone, who was gray and round and rarely alone. He lived with the others all stacked in a pile and waited calmly with a large, friendly smile. Each stone had a purpose, but it wasn't known yet. Some would be landscaping and some a stone pet. There were so many things that the stones could be, the hardest part was just waiting to see. Stone knew that his purpose would brighten someone's day. He just wasn't sure how or in what kind of way. He imagined the things that he might soon become as he watched all the stones get picked one by one but his happy face slowly turned to a frown as he watched the tall pile start to dwindle on down. And although he was worried, he tried not to care until it was clear he was the last one there. Then it finally happened. Stone was quickly picked up. He was placed on a desk next to a very large cup. As Stone looked around, he thought, this is so great but soon he discovered he was a dull paperweight. I'm supposed to bring happiness, not hold paper still. There must be a mistake. This just can't be my skill. Then all of a sudden a splatter flew high and then some bright scribbles came wiggling by. They were headed right towards the short paper stack and they filled up the paper on the front and the back. They were all making art. It was happening so fast, Stone feared that the paper would simply not last. He couldn't believe just how much the pile grew. Then he heard a small cry from the fun splatter crew. We knew that this pile was getting too tall. There is no more paper. We have used it all. The scribbles all cried. They now saw it too. This is a disaster. Oh, what will we do? Stone didn't want the scribbles to cry, so he thought of something that they all could try. He slowly rolled down the very large pile and said, I know how to make you all smile. I know I'm not paper, but I like art too. Do you think you could spare some red, yellow, and blue? They loved the idea and could not wait to start. Scribble began making a happiness heart. Splatter then painted some pale baby blue. Another scribble added a sunny gold hue. It didn't take long before more stones showed up, and soon the line grew behind the large red cup. To Stone's surprise, he was picked up once more. He had never heard of this happening before. More art was added, and he was on his way to become a small gift to brighten someone's day. Nearby, another stone's journey had begun. He was spreading such happiness and having great fun. Every time he traveled, someone added their part, sometimes just a scribble, sometimes fancy art. With each new layer, there was a story to share, and soon scribble stones were seen everywhere. They traveled the planet. It was quite an event, bringing happiness and fun wherever they went. Now thousands of stones inspire creativity each day, all because of a paperweight with a will and a way. Scribble Stone Art Project. Scribble stones are intended to inspire creativity and spread happiness through collaborative art. How it works. Find a stone, add some art, 
a scribble, a splatter, or a happiness heart. Then give it away and let someone know that this scribble stone makes happiness grow. It's so very simple and easy to do. Just add some more art and give it away too. Wasn't that a good story? I've got a surprise for you. I have a special guest that's going to join us today. I asked her to join us to give us some hints about stones. Do you have any idea who it might be? You think? Here she is. And who's our special guest? It's Miss Murphy! Yay! Hi, everybody! It's Miss Murphy from the primary. I'm so glad to see you. Well, you can see me. I can't see you. So <laughs> I'm here today to talk about Stones, the book that Mr. Schmidt read to you. I, I got so excited about it. There it is, Stones. Uh, the really neat thing about this book is when you put your special creative touch on these stones, the idea is to give them away, spreading happiness, and check this out. On one of my first stones, you can leave some room. Look, I didn't fill in the whole rock because I left some room for the person that you give it to. They can add their own touches and then give it away too. Oh, I, I see you, 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 you're, you use markers on that one? I use markers on this particular spo uh, stone and I left some room. Check this out. Uh, on my next rock, I used color pencil, everybody. Really? Just yeah. pencil? Just colored pencil. I didn't leave a lot of room here for anybody to add. Uh, guess what? Look on the back. Uh, Get out too. Just another area where you could add or the next person could add before they pass it on to the next person too. All right, check this out, everybody. I went in my studio area and I pulled out some primary color paint. Oh, drip, 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 there it goes. And I also, check this out, I found a little piece of ribbon downstairs and I thought I'd drag it through my paint and pull it right over the stone. Oh, that's cool. And I thought if I didn't have paint downstairs, because some people don't have paint in their homes, I could go right outside and use some mud maybe crush up some berries and color that mud and put it right on the rock with your finger or with a string or ribbon or maybe you got a paintbrush at home. Uh. If you don't have a paintbrush, you may have a stick. And if you don't have a stick and you don't have a paintbrush, you surely have a pencil. You could drag that through the mud too if it's an old pencil or you could use pencil simply on your, on your stone. The lighter the stone, the more the pencil will show up. Don't forget all the sides. Have a great time with stones. And remember, share them and pass on some happiness. Okay, everybody. Thanks bye for so now. much for sharing that. Yay. Oh, Thanks, Keep healthy. Bye, everybody.